Now, if you've seen any of my videos, you might be wondering what I actually use to record my videos or screencasts. And what I actually use might seem a bit unorthodox, but I think it's probably the most minimal and lightweight way to record videos and screencasts. And I use this little program called FFmpeg. And what FFmpeg is, is it's basically the Swiss Army knife of um, audio and video on Linux. It, it can basically do anything uh, with video and audio. It can uh, trim, edit, manipulate video and audio. Uh, it can convert to different codecs and formats. It can record video and audio. And you can do, you can stream video and audio. You can do basically everything with video and audio with FFmpeg. And it does it well. And it's such a great program. But if you want any uh, more information on it, uh, you can look at the man page if you have it installed. And it'll give you basically all the information that you need. Um, in fact, it gives you this really, these really nice diagrams. Um, but I can, I can make an entire YouTube channel on FFmpeg because there's so much in it. But I'm just going to be showing you how to record video and do screencasts. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to show you how to record video. So, if I run FFmpeg, uh, first thing I want to do is give it the dash F option. And I'm going to say X11 grab. And what this basically says is, uh, what dash F means is what sort of device do you want to give it, get it from? Um, and I get it, want to get it from X11 grab, which is my screen. And I give it dash I, which is basically what, wh what I want to grab. And that would be colon 0, 0.0. And you might be wondering, what, what is that? What does that mean? Well, if I actually run X Randar, you'll see that right here, it's a little obscure, but right here, 0, 0, that's actually the offset of my display. So when I give it, when I give FFmpeg 0, uh, colon 0, 0, that's actually the offset of my display, which is the pixel or coordinate 0, 0, um, which is the upper left hand corner of my display. So that's actually what that means. Um, but if I run that, um, and I give it, let's just say, test.mkv. So this is going to record video and put it in the file test.mkv. And it's going to go ahead and do that. Give it a moment. Okay. And if you want to actually exit out or stop recording, you can press control C or you can also just press Q and it will stop your recording. So now I should have a file called test.mkv. And if I go ahead and open it, you'll see it's our recording. Um, there's no audio, of course, but uh, it's our entire screen recorded onto video. So that's pretty nice. Um, so uh, that's how you. That's the basics of recording video. You can also do a lot more. You can also specify size. If I do dash s, I can give it my display size. So for example, 1920 by 1080, and this will just spe specify the size of my display. And if I run this, it'll say, file uh, test at MKV or exists overwrite. I can say yes, and it'll go ahead and overwrite the file. If I want to automatically overwrite, um, I can act, what I can actually do is I can give FFmpeg the dash Y option, which will basically just say yes to every prompt, which will automatically overwrite our file. So I'm going to go ahead and record this and open test at MKV. And as you can see, not much has changed. It's the same resolution. Um, FF, FFmpeg sometimes auto detects resolution, so that's pretty nice. Um, but I can also change the resolution too to custom resolutions. So let's just say I want to do a 100 by 100 resolution and record that and give it a moment. What it's actually going to do is, I'm going to see in a moment, it's actually going to take a 100 by 100 resolution video, which I don't think it's that practical, but you can do it. <laughs> um, but this can be, actually be useful for capturing certain sections of the screen. So let's just say I want to capture the top right-hand corner of my screen. What I can do is I can say, for this little offset right here, 0, .0 .0, I can say plus, let's just say 1,000. So move 1,000 pixels to the right in the x direction. And let's re-record that. And give it a moment to record. Okay, so now let's open test.mkv again. And well, it's not the right side of my screen, but it's close. 
Um, so it captured the video a thousand pixels to the right. So uh, let's actually do one thousand nine hundred or eight hundred pixels, and it should get part of my status bar in there. As, I, as you can see, it's recording um, the time section of my status bar. So that's that's pretty nice. And of course, if I want to move down, I can say comma 200. So it's going to move 1,800 pixels to the right and 200 pixels down in the y direction. And it's going to go ahead and record that. And let's open test.mkv. And as you can see, it's shifted 200 pixels down. So that's the basics of, or not basically um, how you record video. So how do you actually record audio in FFmpeg? It's actually pretty similar, uh, if not a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove test.mkv. And to actually record audio, uh, we give it the dash F option, and we give it our audio our audio device, which is also, oh, also. Uh, but if you can also use Pulse. Um, if you're using Pulse audio, you can just give it Pulse and That'll be good, but I like to use Alsa since it's since there are a lot less bugs with Alsa um, than Pulse Audio, and we give it dash I, and which for our specific device we wanted to uh, record audio from. In this case, I give it default, and this is this records from our default de input device, which is in this case my microphone. So uh, that's what it records from, and we can put it into test.mkv, and I'm gonna go ahead and record it. I'm just going to say a few sample words, 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 recording, recording, and I'm going to go ahead and stop that recording. So now we have our audio file, test.mkv. If I go ahead and open it, you'll see that it'll have our audio in it. Recording. I'm just going to say a few sample words, 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 recording, recording. And, and so that's our, <laughs> that's our audio file. So now that you know how to actually record video and audio separately, how do you actually put the two together? Well, it's actually super straightforward. You actually just combine the two. So if I want to re record my video and audio, I can say ffmpeg-fx11 grab and size 1920 by 1080, which is the size of my display, dash i, zero, zero. That's the video section. So now for the audio section, we do dash f also I default and I'm put it into um, rec.mkv and what this is going to do is this is going to record uh, video wise it's going to record the entire screen but it's also going to record the audio that I'm saying right now so I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and so now if you look in our rec.mkv file and what this is going to do is it's going to record uh, video wise, it's going to record the entire screen, but it's also going to record the audio that I'm saying right now. So, and there we go. So that's our um, complete screencast with video and audio as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. You can also, uh, for example, if I want to, if I don't want to record my entire screen, if I want to record, record just my webcam, what I can do is if I run FFmpeg, uh, I can give it the dash I option. And if you want to record from just from a file, you give it the de just the dash i option. And if I say slash dev slash video zero, and I'm just gonna call it cam.mkv. And to do this, I have to turn my camera off because I can't do two uh, cameras at once. So I'm gonna turn my camera off and I'm gonna go ahead and record video from my camera. And give it a moment. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera back on now. Um, there we go. So now if I go ahead and open uh, cam.mkv, you'll see that it's the recording uh, of my face, just from my camera, no screen involved. So that's how you actually record from uh, video devices. Um, and of course, you can do a lot more things with video and audio. But... Um, Oh, and there's also one uh, one great thing about uh, FFmpeg is when you record, you can actually specify what codecs you want. So let me get rid of cam to MKV. So I'm going to go ahead and run FFmpeg, and I'm going to record some video. Uh, 
let's just say, um, give it the defaults. And I'm gonna actually specify the video codec. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do dash C colon V, and this will specify codec video. And I can give it whatever video codec I want. So I think, I don't know any video codecs off the top of my head. Uh, let me try audio, how about that? <laughs> Let's do also um, default, and if I do dash C A colon A, that uh, will specify audio codec. And I'm gonna give it the audio codec um, I'm going to give it the FLAC audio codec. And so it's going to record it in FLAC. And I'm going to put it in audio.mkv. And this, what this will do is while you record your audio, it will actually um, convert that audio to a FLAC, uh, FLAC format or a FLAC codec. Um, and so you can actually use this to um, record in certain different audio codecs like um, or different files too, like you can have a WebM file, um, MKV, MP4, really anything you want, as long as it's supported by FFmpeg. Uh, and basically every format is supported, supported by FFmpeg, so it's not going to be a problem. And of course, here's our audio file. And this, what this will do is while you record your audio, so that's our audio file. And that's really the basics of FFmpeg. Um, like I said, there's a lot more you can do. You can trim videos, you can edit them, uh, stabilize them, do whatever you want. But this is the basics of screencasting with uh, FFmpeg. And so I hope you found this useful. Um, this was just the basics of FFmpeg. So, yeah, I'll see you guys whenever.